What's up, Bargain family? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Saturday Dollar Tree Hauls. I want to share this with you guys because I'm just excited about it. Anyways, I wanted some new t-shirts and I went to Kohl's this week and I was able to find this t-shirt right here and I love it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a Nickelodeon t-shirt and it has all of the favorites except this one honestly i don't know what this is and i do not think this is from my era like all this is from my era the 90s this i don't know what that is according to my boyfriend he is from the 90s but he just wasn't a very popular show don't know who it is i just wanted to share my t-shirt with you guys because I loved it. Okay, enough talking about t-shirts. Let's dive into this week's Dollar Tree haul. So as usual, I like to start off with my favorite item that I purchased this week at Dollar Tree. So what I was most excited to find this week at Dollar Tree were these seashells in a bottle. I bought three of them. These seashells have like a gray tone to them, so they're gray colored seashells for the most part. I wish they had variety, like ones that had a little bit more white seashells to go with my decor, which if you haven't notice i changed the background for this channel i have a video out for it if you want to check it out it's dollar tree products to create a beachy thing but anyways i bought these for the background of course they're gonna look great with it so i'm just gonna put them around the place right now and it just goes perfectly with the decor so I've never seen this before, Dollar Tree, first time I've ever seen it there. I know they carry this at Walmart. So I was able to find some polyfill fiber fill. Now, if you go to Walmart, you can buy um, a pound. So 16 ounces of this for like $3.47. There's only three ounces in this package, but I was happy to find it at Dollar Tree because if you are familiar with my channel, I like to really do Dollar Tree exclusive tutorials. So most of the stuff I try to find at Dollar Tree, I try not to go with other um, products from other places. I try to keep a Dollar Tree exclusive. It doesn't always happen that way, but I try my best. So yes, if I really wanted a lot of this, it's cheaper to go to Walmart. So I told you guys last week, the next theme for my background is gonna be a nautical theme. I really wanted to do a nautical theme at first, but when I started making the decor for my beach week, it just ended up looking very much sandy tone, coastal type of beach decor. So when I think of nautical, I think of boats and anchors. And so I'm gonna have that next month. So I went back to Dollar Tree and picked up some of these glasses, which are perfect for the nautical theme. I had this one before that had an anchor and I was able to find a different one this time. And this one is like the steering wheel to the boat. I think it's just called like a boat steer. I, I really don't know. So I picked up this one. I should have looked though, because there's some crusty musty on this cup, but kind of gross. If you're in the nautical home pieces, check out Dollar Tree for these awesome cups and they also have plates. The plates and bowls that they have are pretty as well. The only thing is they're mainly white with a little bit of blue so I want stuff that is blue. So I got the smaller plate. I already have one that had an anchor and I got this one that has um, a steering wheel again to the boat. Now I got some 4th of July items to show you guys. The first item I got is this little like welcome sign. It says God bless America. It has a star with a um, flag on it. Just thought it'd be cute to hang in front of the door. I got one of these fashion scarves. This one just says, what does it say? Liberty, USA, red, white, and blue. Now I bought this to wrap around a wreath. It's I'm not going to be wearing this. So we'll see how that turns out. I got these really pretty decorative bows. They have the American flag on them. They're glittery, which I love. Of course, it's going to get all over the place. And to clean up that glitter, I have to show you what else I got. So where I film, I always get glitter all over the floor. And I really don't like grabbing my main broom to sweep it up just because you end up getting glitter on the broom and then it gets stuck in there and it ends up all over the rest of the house. And in this room, I don't really want to keep a big oversized broom. So from Dollar Tree, I just got this small little dustpan and brush so I can pick up the glitter. Now, it's not like I get glitter everywhere. It's in the one little spot that I film in. But like I said, I don't really want to get the big broom, leave it in here or use the broom that I used to sweep the rest of my house with and then I just get glitter everywhere. So it's just a little something to sweep the glitter off of the floor and it's easy to just put away. It's not going to take up much space inside my room. Okay, back to the red, white, and blue haul. Anyways, I got this doorknob hanger. It has these balls right here with some more glitter. Really cute for a dollar. Then I've got some dollar ribbon. It has some stars and then some red stripes. Then I picked... Okay, so the next item I got, I didn't buy. My mother gave me these and asked me if I could make her a wreath using this. So basically, my mom really wants a flip-flop wreath. So she bought a bunch of small kids um, flip-flops. She wanted a coral orange color so that she chose um, coral colored flip-flops with some orange and yellow tones to some of them. So she bought me a few pairs to try making a wreath out of which I thought was funny because literally she just shows up and says hey can you make me a wreath with these flip-flops. So I bought some flip-flops of my own not to wear. I think they're gonna look cute with the nautical theme next month. So I just bought these blue flip-flops that have anchors on them. So we'll see you know 
how it actually looks. Dollar Tree has a lot of new magnets in right now. Now, I'm not big on magnets. I don't like to have them all over my refrigerator, but these ones I saw and I thought they were just really pretty. It comes in a three pack, which I like because most of the magnets that Dollar Tree carries is just one. So this is a three pack. They're small. Um, they kind of look like marbles. <laughs> And there's one that has hearts, one that says love, smile, dream, somebody's here. And then one that has some flowers, plenty of barking as well. Now I don't know if this is a new item, it's new to me. I found this belt hanger at Dollar Tree. They have three different colors. I chose purple. For a dollar, I think this is actually really awesome. And it's pretty sturdy, like it's pretty hard to break this. Something I was actually surprised to see at Dollar Tree this week was this Burnett, Burnett? I don't know, Handy Crafter crochet thread so it is in this navy blue color so I bought it because I'm thinking I could wrap this around a mason jar or something when I do my nautical decor and it's a lot in here let me see there's 371 yards in this so for a dollar I picked this up it was however the only color that they had if they had other colors I think I would have purchased them because like I said 371 yards for a dollar great deal. Dollar Tree right now has lots of storage items on Monday I had a tutorial using these things now Finding these things are hard. Most Dollar Trees I've been to do not carry them. Sometimes you get lucky and you stumble into a Dollar Tree that has them. What I'm talking about are these mini crates that Dollar Tree carries. Like I said, when I made that um, cube organizer that I uploaded the tutorial for on Monday, I had to go to quite a few different Dollar Trees to find enough to make that. So let me know down in the comments below if I should redo the cube organizer using items that most Dollar Trees carry because they do carry bins that I pretty much see at every Dollar Tree so I'm thinking of making another cube organizer using those bins because these ones are nice Dollar Tree does carry them but they're very hard to find whereas there are bins like I said at Dollar Tree that most of them carry they're just not like this so if that's something you guys want to see let me know down in the comments below anyways I ended up buying six of them there's two of them right here but I bought six of them and I really wanted to buy all of them but then I, 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 I've told you guys before, I don't want to like take all the supply of something that's a Dollar Tree because I feel bad sometimes because I'm like, I know there's other people looking for this, so I didn't buy them all. I picked up some succulents from Dollar Tree. I have a harder time finding these at Dollar Tree, so anytime I go to a Dollar Tree and they have them, I buy them. So I bought four total, and the ones I found are actually bigger than the ones I normally see, and they're very pretty. If you can find succulents at your Dollar Tree and you're into them, buy them because you're not going to find them for a dollar anywhere else. You guys know I buy a lot of Dollar Tree items and I craft a lot and I have quite a few little pieces like this. So I bought two bins from Dollar Tree. They are the storage containers but these ones aren't like the bins that you use in a cube organizer necessarily. You could but it's not like the ones that you normally use. I got two of them to put some more of my items, uh, my crafting items in here. Up these umbrella picks. They're 16 in a pack. Now I didn't buy these to put inside of drinks. I actually bought them for decorating. So the rest of my house right now is decorated with a beach decor um, look to it. So Dollar Tree carries these little glasses that are really pretty. It's like underwater. They're seashells and they're sand. They're just gorgeous. I have a few behind me. You might not be able to see them. But anyways, I decorated around my house with these. Now I bought the umbrella picks to add to a few of the little glasses and it's just to spice it up so I have a few that don't have this and then a few that have them it just looks really cute to me the next item I picked up was this water bottle tumbler I chose pink because I love pink back in the day when I used to watch the Power Rangers I used to call dibs on the pink ranger I don't know about you guys and your siblings let me know down in the comments below when we were younger and we used to watch TV shows we would always call dibs on which character we were so Power Rangers I called dibs on Kimberly and my sister was Trini and Rugrats I chose Lil and then my sister sister chose um, Chucky and then another one chose Phil. I know it makes no sense but I'm pretty positive I'm not the only kid that used to do that. But my point being if there was a character that was wearing pink I always chose them because I've always loved the color pink so anyways I got the pink tumbler. I'm always all over the place when I do these hauls. It's like here's a pink cup. I love the pink Power Ranger. It has nothing to do with anything. But anyways I got this to remind myself to drink more water during the summertime. So I chose this one because it's bigger and it can hold more water. Then I got this willow wreath right here. It's the darker of the two Dollar Tree it normally carries. I'm going to see if I can make a pretty wreath using this. So I got the other colored willow wreath. This one I bought to try to make a wreath to go with the beach decor I have right now. So I got this wall sticker decal. This one says faith, hope and love. It's nothing too fancy, but I got these to try to use for a DIY. I don't know if it's going to work, honestly. If it doesn't work, 
hopefully I can take it off of the DIY and use it somewhere else. It's something that I know my mom would probably use on her walls. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, sometimes you can find them for like two bucks at Michael's, but they don't come with these little containers and it's just, it's really worth it. Now the final items that I purchased at Dollar Tree were some craft sticks. Um, Dollar Tree carries two different size craft sticks, a jumbo one and then like the regular normal size craft sticks. So I bought them because I have a tutorial that's coming out next week for sure. Keep your eyes open using craft sticks. These are legit $1 items using craft sticks. So thank you so much you guys for watching this Dollar Tree haul. As always I like to end my Dollar Tree hauls with a question. Last week I wanted to know what your favorite movie was. Now, it was really hard to choose like the most popular movie out of all the comments because it really was all over the place. But I will say romantic movies were definitely like the front runners. It seemed like most people who commented are really into romantic movies, which obviously I am too because I love Titanic. And I could say honestly the two comments that probably I saw the most were Dirty Dancing and The Notebook, which I personally love Dirty Dancing. Like, Somebody, somebody catch me. So this week's question of the week, I'm going to give some credit to Ruby Valeska because she said her favorite movie of all time is The Land Before Time. That movie is a movie that will make me cry to this very day. It's an old movie, old cartoon, but to this day when I see that movie, I cry. I'll show you guys a clip right now that I put on my Instagram for my other channel and I was body painting and The Land Before Time was playing in the background and once it came to that scene where Littlefoot's mother died, I couldn't control the tears because that scene is is so freaking sad. So this week I want to know what movie makes you cry. Now The Land Before Time makes me cry but that is not the saddest movie I have ever seen in my life. The saddest movie I've ever seen in my life. If you know this movie please 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 leave a comment down below because nobody knows this. It's Nestor the Long-Eared Donkey. It's a movie that was on TV so it's a made for TV movie. Basically Nestor is the ends up being the donkey that takes Mary and Joseph to the barn to have Jesus. But before that, the donkey is like abused because he has long ears. He gets made fun of all the time. So his mother takes him away from that. Well, actually they get kicked out of the barn and then his mother dies on him. It's kind of like Bambi, but it is the saddest movie I've ever seen in my life. It's just so depressing. So every time that movie would play when I was younger, I would cry and I would always ask my parents, I'm like, Nestor the long-eared donkey okay? Is Nestor the long-eared donkey okay? That movie is just so sad. It's not just that his mother died, which a lot of those, I, I don't understand, like, kid cartoons and stuff. Like, the mother always dies. And it's sad. But anyways, it's not just that. It's the way that he's treated and what he has to go through. It is so, so sad. If you want to cry, watch that. So I want to know what your tear-jerking movie is down below. So thank you so much for watching. Definitely the longest Dollar Tree haul I've ever uploaded on this channel. So I will see you guys tomorrow with a tutorial. Take care. Bye! Never, never again am I going to attempt that on the share again. Take care. Bye.